it's very important in understanding the physical world that our way of um, describing the physical world certainly at its most precise has to do with mathematics and that mathematics has to have been there s since the beginning of time it doesn't have any location in space it doesn't have any location in time some people would take it not to have any existence at all but it's hard to talk about science really without giving ma mathematics some kind of reality because that's how you describe your theories in terms of mathematical structures it has this also, also this relation to mentality because we we certainly have access to mathematical truths but i think it's useful to think of the world as not being a creation of our minds because if we do then how could it have been there before we were around how can the, the ma mathematics have been the creation of, of minds and still have been there controlling the universe so i think it's very uh, valuable to think of this platonic mathematical world as having its own existence so let's allow that and say that there are three different kinds of existence the normal physical existence the mental existence and the mathematical world which seems to be out there in some sense conjuring itself into existence and then there's the relationship between these three worlds which i regard as very mysterious i sometimes refer to this as three worlds and three mysteries and mystery number one is how is it that the physical world does in fact accord with mathematics not just any old mathematics but very sophisticated subtle mathematics to such a fantastic degree of precision mystery number two is how is it that when you have physical structures of the right kind and here i'm referring very specifically to human living human wakeful healthy brains probably many other animals i would say also have this quality of mentality and somehow it's evoked when the structures have the right have the right character whatever that is so there is um mentality seems to have this deep relation to certain kinds of physical structures and mystery number three has to do with our access to the world of mathematics it's something that you certainly can't describe in terms of purely computational activity there's something outside that involved in in our appreciation of mathematics even just knowing what the the natural numbers zero one two three four i could say that you see and you can explain to a child and you can have sesame street things with different things and and they get the idea they know what they're talking about they know what numbers are yet how do you know what they are if you can't describe in a finite set of rules what these numbers are there's another feature about this which is that in each case it's only a small part of one world which encompasses ever seemingly the entirety of the next world if you look at any mathematical journal it's full of things have absolutely no relevance to physical activity so it's a small part of the mathematical world which seems to encompass the behavior of the physical world and it's a very small part of the physical world which seems to evoke mentality and it's only a small part of our mental activities which relate to mathematics now the typical scientific response to that would say okay the mental world is just an expression of the physical brain and so it's uh, it's an artificial phenomena and mathematics is very nice but it's something that human beings have invented to sort of describe the physical world to a mathematician you might take that the mathematical world somehow is, <laughs> is, is the one because somehow it has to be there you see it's it sort of creates itself out of nothing or you might say well no no it's mentality it's, it, it, that's where all, all our knowledge comes that's everything ultimately is to do with our, our our consciousness and and everything else is then explained in terms of it when you look at these three worlds is it just as a description of reality or is that there some sense of real independent existence i don't necessarily regard this as a sort of ultimate picture i think that in some sense there are different aspects of reality and mm. that the, there are the true reality in some sense encompasses the whole thing this simple diagram highlights the difficulty we have with understanding the nature of reality we have three worlds each one a mystery and each one mysteriously connected to the other we have the world of conscious awareness that can comprehend the fundamental truths of mathematics and then we have the physical world that is based on those mathematical laws then out of this physical structure 
comes conscious awareness. Each of the three parts seems to be dependent on the other. This video is putting forward the idea that they are dependent on each other because they are connected by one universal process. This theory explains the universe as a continuum, a continuous process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The driving force for this process is the spontaneous absorption and emission of light. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic radiation or light continuously. This is because the universe is never at absolute zero. We have a process of continuous creation with time as an emergent property with the future coming into existence photon by photon relative to the position and the energy and momentum or actions of the atoms within each individual reference frame. We see and fill this process from the centre of our own reference frame as the continuum of time and we are an interactive part of this process with the wave-particle duality of light acting like the bits or zeros and ones of a computer forming a blank canvas that we can interact with turning the possible into the actual. Light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent so we have a process that forms an infinite number of reference frames that are continuously coming in and out of existence. Each reference frame has its own timeline from the past into the future with the future unfolding light photon by light photon with each new photon oscillation or vibration. One of the great problems in understanding the nature of reality is understanding consciousness and how the concept of mind interacts with the objective world of our everyday life. This theory gets around this problem by explaining consciousness as electrical activity that is aware of its own electrical potential. This is possible because the light photon is the carrier of the electromagnetic force. Therefore electrical activity in the brain is always in the centre of its own reference frame in the moment of now with a potential future that is always uncertain, with a past that has gone forever as part of this continuous energy exchange forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. It is because consciousness is always in the centre of its own reference frame that we have the concept of mind, with each one of us having our own personal view of the universe. There are no paradoxes in this theory. We are in the centre of our own reference frame, being able to look back in time, in every direction, the beauty of the stars. We can also look down into individual reference frames, seeing the future unfolding, photon by photon, relative to the energy and momentum of that reference frame. The greatest effect this process of continuous energy exchange has on us is the aging process with photon energy from the Sun cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the continuous increase in entropy or disorganization. But above all this is a creative process with the future coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum or actions of each individual life form. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work, we are seeing the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of the artist. This creativity is innate within the process itself, for nothing has lower entropy or greater organization than a sphere, and when the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms the most beautiful of all geometrical shapes, the spiral. Therefore we see the Fibonacci spiral almost everywhere in nature, not because of economy of growth, but because of a process of symmetry forming and breaking. For it is madness to think that the geometry and diversity of cell life could form out of chaos and uncertainty. 
but it is logical that such geometry and diversity could form with the formation of chaos and uncertainty out of the freedom of a process of symmetry forming and breaking. This process forms a dynamic curvature and geometry of space-time that the mathematical world is based upon. Each new photon oscillation of light represents zero, representing a new moment in time, the moment of now, with the positive numbers marching off towards an infinite future, their negative numbers receding towards a limitless past, the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. The physical world is based on this dynamic process. I believe the day will come when this theory will be seen as the physics of time, as a physical process, with the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the dynamic geometry of a physical process that we see and feel as a continuum of time, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. This process of continuous change, or energy exchange, we see and feel as the flow of time itself that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. This process is totally universal and interactive, from the largest object to the smallest creature, right down to the smallest element of the periodic table, will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. In this theory, the elements of the periodic table are standing waves over a period of time. Our future is always uncertain because of a continuous interaction or absorption emission of light. The future is unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment forming the probability function or quantum wave particle function that is explained mathematically by Schrodinger's wave equation. At the smallest level of this process, this uncertainty is seen as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the dynamics of space and time. Please subscribe on YouTube and be part of the promotion of this theory that will change our view of the universe and our place within it.